Blessings and shalom, brothers and sisters. So I just watched a video of Alex Jones that he did about a week ago. And I am transitioning to come off of YouTube, which, uh, <laughs> easier said than done. I try to stay abreast with things from YouTube, from other brothers and sisters, channels that give information and messages that are more aligned in spiritual truth and discernment and wisdom uh, from YouTube. But, you know, YouTube is turning more and more into a, a cesspool like Facebook. And I have a business, so unfortunately I have to utilize these social media platforms. But it's just... it's. It's more spiritually cringing to look at these days. Um, for instance, you know, with a YouTube, you can get a pop-up video that comes on your feed that outlines a two-hour movie in ten minutes or, you know, more or less, which is cool, as you might or might not have ever, ever watched an actual movie before. But it pops up on your feed and something you probably have no intention or interest in watching or looking at uh, really takes over because the title that you automatically glance at and start to read because it's habit uh the title has a vulgar clickbait title to it with the thumbnail of the video to match its lewdness uh and perversion and it's probably a thumbnail to a to one sexual or vulgar scene from a movie which i'm not condoning or justifying that isn't as provocative or sexual as the movie itself but the title and thumbnail makes it appears that way in order for you to click on it which is just the enemy keeping those who exercise the spirit of lust and perversion keeping that spirit alive and well fed for those who practice it uh the the movie could be about something that isn't porn but the title and the thumbnail says different and people do this because sex and lust is popular and you are going to be enticed to watch it um but it's demonic spirits and people luring you uh enticing you tempting you and now without you even watching it or you, you can even bypass it but now with the title and the thumbnail you have a simple thought and an image in your brain uh whether you scroll on by or, or start to even watch it and i really hate that because that's the enemy working through people to get get you to sin either in a feeling or observation a thought an image so everything is just more cringe for me on youtube these days because I, I don't want to run into that i don't want my eyeballs or my ear gates to accidentally or innocently enough hear and see something i have no intentions of seeing and hearing that is vile and vulgar and demonic and it's something we all have to deal with for those who are really trying to stay away and and, and, and care and concern our our gates from wickedness uh, and and evil and sinful things um but i'm just i'm i'm choosing to deal with it less and less if i can <laughs> But, I ended up coming across this video, and it came up out of the blue on my feed. I don't really follow Alex Jones, but a video with him and this guy who was trying so much to be supportive and uplifting, but is, you know, pitifully oblivious to it all. Um, it, it was just interesting to me because from the thumbnail, which is not the thumbnail you see in front of you, but the thumbnail on Facebook, it 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 didn't look like Alex looked too good, in my opinion. So I clicked on it, and I was very bothered in a way of pity and compassion when I saw the video. And I didn't want to play the video or screen share it for you guys. Um, I asked that you go check it out for yourself if you're interested, but there was a lot of F-bombs being dropped. I don't like hearing conversations like that, even though people do and still cuss and say strong cuss words. I just didn't want to expose anybody to the cussing of it. It wasn't a lot of F-bombs, but it was it was enough for me to not want to share it. But if you want to watch it, I'll leave it in the description box. Uh, but what you're going to see, uh, if you haven't already saw it, is a man falling apart. Alex Jones is falling apart. You will be watching a grown man who is riddled in fear uh who was pretty much telling the guy and anyone listening and watching that he is scared and how scared he is he's scared out of his mind he's barely holding on in this videos he said he's having nightmares every night he says because of how scared he is and it's all over him watching it and it was honestly hard for me to see a grown man break down and fall apart and the thing that got me was that his beautiful daughter while he's conveying his horror uh, came up to him and gave him a hug during the interview that he was doing it in his trepidation you know and you know maybe she from what he was conveying 
of just really falling apart she thought to give her dad a hug you know she chimed in on her dad to give him a hug maybe she felt he needed a hug but you know because in front of her in front of us he is basically crumbling and falling apart in fear with no aspirations of hope and that was mind-blowing to watch uh to see it like that because that is that is the outcome for those who are in the world and have put all their trust in the world and man it's going to lead to everything of what you see in front of you uh and and you know many men are on the edge of this very position in my opinion if a human called donald trump didn't exist uh and if their guns didn't exist uh, many men do not turn to god they really don't in this world they they probably proclaim it they probably go to church but many have put their trust in other gods and alex uh, is a trump supporter which is also you know the other kicker of it all because he isn't like the trump supporters with all the the worship and the, the hope of it's going to get great again and i'm not trying to bash it because there are some who who doesn't worship trump like jesus but he's not in he's not uh really affiliating in that crowd he is proclaiming how hopeless it is and proclaiming that trump is going to die they're going to kill him and you can just feel the fear and this void of no hope in, the, in in his tone and he admitted how you know he's a pretty tough guy which i buy that but you know he's he's admitting how scared he is right now uh and this is what it looks like this is what tough looks like when there's no foundation of jesus christ in a man's life and as a woman a married woman at that is de is, is is devastating to look to live in this world and and and, and see that we have a shortage of godly men in the household and to not have that godly household standard of the roles of who and, and and what the husband is supposed to to be and do and in in a relationship where it should be grounded and founded in christ with with christ being over him and him and him being over the house uh so everything is in according to his relationship with christ uh and and everything should should come off in that in that stance in that godly stance that it should be it should never look like this because you know our men are falling they're crumbling due to the fact that they are not founded and they are not grounded in yeshua hamashiach and this is 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 sad to see and watch because the man is supposed to be the godly leader he's supposed to be over his household uh keeping it together holding everyone down um unless the woman is more aligned but if the if the woman is 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 not and is and is is the man who is really um the head without you know either one of them really being founded in christ the house is gonna fall it's it's going to fall and how godly and ungodly a man is will affect the whole household because he is the leader of it um and there are godly men few and far between who even in what alex said on the video because through his fear he predicted how nuclear this is coming and how economy crash that is coming and he he's right all of it's coming uh there are men of god in this world who have that relationship and foundation in christ who isn't close to slightly quivering in their boots because of where they are in their relationship with father and how grounded their relationship is in father to be unmoved by satan's world and those he uses those he used in it and whatever evil doing they do uh when that is not the case of a man over a household to where there is no foundation no relationship in christ the man and his house will fall everyone even children included they're doomed waiting for doom that's why it was emotional to watch uh you're getting a view of it from alex you know through his falling apart and most men they serve lowercase g gods today uh and when they realize that all of their lowercase g gods you know are not sufficient and they're no longer there what else is there to, to stand on and you get this you get all hopelessness you get a stronghold of fear because there's no foundation and with alex it, it, he's like he has no one else in the world to turn to so hope is gone and he's having nightmares every night because trust deliverance hope has been served and worshiped in other lowercase g gods that has and will only provide temporary relief 
and and not turning to the real God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to be Lord over him and his house through and 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 be lord over every thought and decision and even the fear and doubt that creeps in this is where that could lead to but men of god don't have the spirit of, of fear because god can take the spirit of fear out and cast it away and even in what you could perceive being your worst moment that will befall you you're still grounded in faith and joy and in peace in spite of it all at whatever comes because that is the power of god over and in a person's life when you're grounded in christ and, and have surrendered to be delivered of sins and fear the alternative is what you see right here falling apart and i feel much sympathy for this man and his family i can't help but to because it doesn't have to be that way it it, it doesn't many many uh don't choose god like they say or might believe they do if you got fear you're not fully in christ because the only fear you should have is the fear of the lord that's it you're going to have to surrender fear in every category to god whether it's a category of fear in your in your kid and in, uh, in your kids your family your own well-being the, the your money being taken away whatever it, it is whatever it is yeshua can help deliver you and give you peace in the storm and through the storm no matter what it looks like and what's coming against you so yes we need to pray for alex household and the other households throughout the four corners whose husbands and fathers who were not in their golly positions as the golly leaders that they should be as as the head of the home where they they have a foundation in christ to to lead their household because you know many have not been building their house on the rocks but been building it on the sand instead and it's a house that's gonna it's gonna it's gonna fall it's gonna fall away so we have to be praying for for these people to come into truth and to and for them to really you know really come to know a relationship beyond what they are doing and serving now like it is it's so important for us to be praying for real brothers and sisters across the four corners of the world and praying that they can steady be blessed into positions to move the hearts of others towards the the lord to where many can turn to jesus follow jesus worship jesus serve jesus the whole lot because jesus is our only is our only hope he is our only hope and when we truly know that and believe that and feel that and have that there is no crumbling there is no falling apart and when people don't have christ at the focal point and of their lives this is what you see so let's pray for let's pray for the households because many many men are are not godly are not godly leaders over their household and you know for that the house is going to come crumbling down but that's where we fast and pray and intercede so i love you guys god bless let's keep in prayer